Alright, what it is and what it ain't, me and Kaden about to go hit Vasa. Uh, same workout we did two workouts ago when I announced that Kaden's an IFBB pro now. Uh, so back, shoulders, rear delts, some biceps. More likely than not gonna be a voiceover, but bro, I walked in Kaden's crib and he had a gimbal for his phone and I didn't even realize he, uh, I didn't even realize it was a thing, bro. Didn't know he had this, definitely. But I'm gonna give him the camera so he can he can uh, get a little edit in for you know his his channel because he's about to start that up. I'll throw a link or something in the description for you guys to check that out. But we got the goods this morning. We multiple things that I did right this morning that I don't usually do right. I brought two extra batteries, so you won't hear me talking about oh I pulled the camera out and it was dead and there's no SD card. None of that. None of that this morning. But yeah, we got the goods for real. Hold on now. Hold on now. We got the hooks. <laughs> you know, we know, you know, we rolling heavy when we bring out the hooks. I definitely want to throw 225 on that bar and row that motherfucker. Um, I got my weak ass belt. I ain't even gonna pull it out. That shit sucks. But uh, I got it for free, so let me not complain. I really want to get one of the Manaka belts with like oh. the suede, either the suede or the. No, really just the suede, bro. They got like a, a beige, a, a beige, a gray. I don't even know what color beige is. Why am I throwing that word around? Beige, gray, and a pink one that is hard. The pink one goes extra fucking hard. <sighs> so, yeah, bro. It's so nice, bro. Um, I'm so happy I brought these extra batteries because my shit would 100% die without with, with just the one that I have in. But you guys know Vasa is always an experience. Uh, we're gonna be up there at least three hours. I already know that's how it goes every time. Hey, but we're gonna get a nasty little pump. Hey, me, especially. No, <laughs> all right, I'll see y'all at the gym. going on everybody we got a another voiceover i really need to figure out how to put myself in the corner of the screen somewhere in a little box so y'all can see me talk and whatnot but hey we at vasa man that's every every time we show up to vasa is something extravagant that goes on uh the workout is just silly uh here so we actually had like basically a back and shoulder day back shoulder biceps but I wanted to see if I could hit 330 on bench. And here is a clip of me doing just that. Uh, I actually hit 315 the day before, which is crazy. It almost seems like I'm literally getting bigger and stronger damn near daily. Um, but yeah, y'all see my, my little setup on bench. I be doing funky shit. Yeah, this is the... I wish... Um, I included the audio on this clip. You can hear me telling Caden, bro, don't fucking touch it. Don't fucking touch the bar. Because people, like, when they see you struggling and stuck at that midpoint, that stick and put, they want to touch it. Like, they want to help you, which is, like, the natural thing to do is what they should be doing. But, you know, uh, I knew I could get it. Uh, all right, so we started this off with some heavy curls. We put the fat grips on the 70, and I'm not going to lie, my form is just, going back and looking at these videos, my form is not where I really want it to be with these. There's a lot of swinging early on in the set. Um, I am getting a full range of motion, so I, I will give myself that, but um, I definitely could stabilize a little bit more. But as you can see, look at my arms, dude. They're literally thin a bust. Them fat grips combined with the heavy-ass barbell is stupid. Yeah. And then that, that, that lighting in Vasa is clean everywhere basically um yeah a lot of swinging going on so i'm calling myself out no need for anybody else to do it yes sir and then i'm pretty sure we hop in a barbell rose next which was like the bread and butter of the workout yup all right so 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 peep the hooks guys these hooks are stupid so we started off with uh 175 and then progressed to 185 um and these hooks, they just take that that component of having to grip the bar and having to keep the bar, you know, 
in a certain place in your hands to optimally move the weight. Take that out of the equation and you're just moving with your lats. Uh, I think this is, yeah, this is 185 now. And guys, that shit felt like butter. I think we're jumping up to 205, yep. Oh man, I forgot to take the audio out of this clip. 205, and honestly, 205 felt, 205 felt heavier than 225, and you can definitely tell on the rep. So, so peep this, and then next clip, check me out. Yeah. Looks a little heavy. How you feeling? Looked a little heavy. Let's go. All right, 225. Here we go. The weights are weird. There's like 55s instead of 35s on the side, so we kind of had to do some conversions. But ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, the lats were done for after this workout. Um, and this was only the first lat movement. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I knew I'm, I'm glad I knew to stop because form got shitty. Actually, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I forgot, I forgot. We, we did a little burnout set with uh, 155 and... I want to say I got, like, some stupid, like, 20 or something. But look at that. Like, you can look at that video and feel the mind-muscle connection. That And after after rowing 205, 225, that weight feels so light. So light. Wow. Damn, that's making me want to go to the gym right now. I don't even think I'm going to be able to go till evening time, which is kind of tragic. Yeah. And that is what failure looks like. Let me tell you, that is what, look at that face. That is a face of failure. That's that's all that is right there. All right, so now we hopped over to this row machine. And I think we did four sets of 15, four sets of 12, something like that. And guys, guys, this shit is so silly. So you can see it's, it's, it's chest supported. And what I do and what I tell a lot of people to do is... Envision your lats literally wrapping around the chest supported part, like almost like you're hugging it and and then f pull back and contract as hard as you can squeeze till you literally cannot pull your elbows back anymore. It's literally a matter of letting your lats wrap around the bench and then driving your elbows back. That, those are the two things that I really focus on and envision when I'm doing rows like this. And I, I love this movement. And what I was really making sure I was doing is pulling back equally with each with each uh, arm with using each lat the same amount just because I have a bad habit of pulling back much further with my right arm right arm <laughs> I just began speech impediments out of nowhere all right and then we got these preacher curls and I was I was shitty at the time that Caden didn't record it to failure because I went I think we did three sets of failure here and I mean I always like to go back and look at videos of failure because you can see the true like mechanical failure like to where you literally cannot do another rep cannot squeeze another rep out but uh i mean you guys kind of get the idea here you, i start to go real slow eccentric part of the movement gets real slow and then squeeze at the top all right and then this is starting to get towards the end of the workout we got face pulls and going back and, and looking at this video i don't even i don't notice i didn't notice that i was uh i guess oh, i don't know what the word is um moving my waist so much so coming up coming up so much with the weight which i was using a heavy ass weight i got fucking 80 percent of the stack on there but uh, i definitely felt it in my rear delt so i don't want to hear nothing about my form on that one and then i think this is the last thing we got dumbbell shrugs and we were doing a high amount of reps um, one thing I preach, I preach, I preach, and especially to my clients, we do not, I repeat, we do not let the dumbbells touch our quads when we are doing dumbbell shrugs. We don't do that. If you took one thing from this video, take that. But this is going to end the voiceover. I appreciate you guys for watching. I really like this style of video. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Vasa is always a great workout. Speaking of that, I'm about to head there today. I'll see y'all on the next one. All right, what's going on guys? So we're at Starbucks for the second time today. This is like a, I never go to Starbucks and now all of a sudden I'm here twice in one day. I did my client check-ins this morning and then I am sitting here with my mom editing right now this week's video. 
actually the video you're about to watch so this is the end clip um but uh this is i definitely like the change of scenery i'm just sitting outside drinking a little bit of coffee i got my first ever like cold iced coffee or whatever this morning it was cool i'm not i wasn't really impressed uh but this is just a regular black coffee um i mean it's it, it's 6 45 in the evening so i really can't be mad at anybody but myself if i can't sleep tonight but i really haven't even drank half of it so i should be good uh but yeah i want to end the video on this note I really like these little voiceovers. I feel like I can really explain what I'm trying to say better than when I when it's like in the moment because there's just, I'll be getting distracted. But yeah, so uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you stuck around this deep into the video, you already know I appreciate it. But go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And if you really new, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video when I upload. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.